the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hail Yahweh. give you all the praise your life will never be the same tonight in the name of Jesus there is authority in this place your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus hallelujah I like you to turn to someone left and right just give them a big hug handshake a welcome to koinonia Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a place of encounter, it's a place of miracles. It's a place of healing. It's a place where the power and the authority of the kingdom is allowed to find full expression. And um, I just want to charge us very briefly a few things that the Lord dropped in my spirit. And um, please, I'd like us to pay attention even as I just exhort us and then we'll trust the Spirit of God to move in a remarkable way in this place. In case you came here tonight casually, carelessly, religiously, especially for those of us who are coming, there are so many people outside, please make sure your heart becomes paired. I said it again, this is cinema. You don't come here to watch movies where God comes to change your life and alter the course of your destiny and stay the hands of darkness over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I want to talk on three things. Uh, oh, by the way, I'd like to appreciate everyone. Um, it's truly an honor and a blessing a privilege to have us gather i know that you come um, to be blessed but your presence is seed of the apostle your presence is a sign that god has sent us with a message with an anointing with a mandate and we don't take for granted the sacrifices i saw people in literally everywhere their feet can find action um some sitting even in the gutters and all around it takes hunger and sacrifice but i want to know that there is a god we have and that god will surprise you tonight in the name of jesus people have been in this town right from 
the beginning of the week preparing fasting families groups people have traveled from all over this nation risking their lives on wood you will not be disappointed in the name of jesus there is authority to wipe your tears but very quickly i just want to talk on three things um as we teach the power of god is here but i want you to pay attention because it's important to receive a word that will change you hallelujah the bible says the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters but he could not do anything until god said ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 says the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet so as as i share with us the holy spirit is going to be speaking we're here for various reasons there are people who are here for encounters of all sorts people are here for healing miracles people are here for breakthroughs others are just here to upgrade their passion their pursuit people are here for direction others are here for revelation what is the root cause of my challenges and so on and so forth so it's important for us to pay attention to what god is doing the first thing the lord asked me to share with us is on our relationship with god please write it it matters to god um, the extent of relationship we have with him john 15 will be very fast there's a lot to do tonight john 15 you know one of the one of the very unfortunate things especially with believers is that um many times we love to receive things from god on the platform of the prophetic which is important on the platform of someone else's faith which is okay but many times we frown at any process that leads us into developing intimacy listen please with the holy spirit i don't know if i've taught it here but the holy spirit began to teach me towards the end of last year that there are two dimensions to the operation of the power of god in a man's life there is the dimension of God's power that is encapsulated in laws and principles. The very power of God programmed in spiritual laws and principles. So that the moment you fulfill the requirement of that principle at once, power is released for performance. You don't have to believe in the person of God. To get that kind of result hallelujah you don't have to um be a believer the power of god that's the dimension of power witches and wizards use the devil has no power of his own the bible says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power not some so I can manipulate spiritual laws and produce a result for you. Although I may not be, for instance, a child of God. The laws will work. But it's called witchcraft. Taught us because for it to be of God, that process must be initiated and sustained by the Holy Spirit. So even if the result is correct, but the spiritual agency that initiated it is not of God. It still leads to error and witchcraft are we together but there is a higher dimension of spiritual power it's called the reward of intimacy hmm. there is a higher dimension of spiritual power as important as mysteries and principles are i'll be talking a bit on it you must grow past that realm and then you get to a point where you are in so much of intimacy with the holy spirit 
there are certain levels of spiritual power and authority that is hidden in him. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold. Touch my lips, here I am. Hallelujah. Intimacy. God is not a magician. He's only a native doctor who does not care whether you know his name or not. Once you come into the shrine, he says, what's your problem? He doesn't care whether you know him. The relationship is not the issue. And you say, Baba, I want to kill somebody. And he says, okay. Bring a fowl, bring a bring goat, add coconut, add whatever. And then he says, go, it's done. You don't even know the person. In fact, you may not even know how he looks because he's not interested in relationship. But when you come to God, God shifts your hand and says, let me have your heart first. You came with your hand, but God says, leave your hand. My son, give me your heart. Especially for those who are looking for anointing and power, there is a desperation for power. Whenever you see God doing great things through a man, it's usually shocking. Because you look at the man and you're like, where, is, where are these miracles coming from? <laughs> Let me tell you, if people look at your life and they are not surprised, it's a sign that the Holy Spirit is not exalted in your life. Everything about your life should be such a shock and a mystery. That people look at koinonia, for instance, and say, what is this? It's the signature of God. You can see where man's effort ended. And you know from here there is a mystery. Hallelujah. This ministry is a mystery because of the hand of God. He says, if I by the finger of God, the finger of God. But brothers and sisters, what you see is a product of relationship. You see relationship will give you what your manipulation in prayer may not be able to give you the bible even says it takes the holy spirit for us to pray well that god is saying by my standard you don't even know how to receive from me friendship those who are pastors here of ministries inside and outside please pay attention more than power more than crowd believe me if you want the signature of the spirit upon your life focus on a relationship with god we don't like this that's why the dimension of the operation of god in our lives is limited if i begin to prophesy now and begin to speak and miracles begin to happen many of us just loosen up and you say now koinonia is on no god is not a herbalist he's not a magician what you see happening in this ministry is the same thing that happens in marriage. Are we together? When a man gets married to his wife, as a faithful bride, she comes a partaker of his might, his authority, she bears his son name instantly. Instantly. His authority becomes her authority. Please listen. For as long as she remains a faithful bride, you may not like her, she may be a cleaner a day before, but marriage translated her. And the Bible tells us, listen, that the church, the ecclesia, is called the bride of Christ. I'm ever conscious of this fact. And the Bible says, husbands, love your wives. Love your wives unto death so there is the love of god i i am so this is my confidence that he loves me and he will back everything that represents himself in my life the first message for us tonight is that it's time to really be serious about our relationship with god god is not a herbalist he's not a magician there are people who can be praying and shouting using jesus as if he's a genie you know how you use a charm? You just strike it and do certain things. Look at what Jesus did. Look at his relationship with the Father. When he came, he said, Father, thank you. At the grave of Lazarus, 
because I know you always hear me. In fact, he was even embarrassed for just saying thank you aloud because to him it sounded like he was communicating unbelief. And he had to explain himself. I said, no, 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 Father, don't think I don't believe you. I did it for their sake. We know what we do in the secret. Do you have a testament in your life that is a reward of the secret place? That when men look at you, they know that there is a rich, healthy, current relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. John 15 verse 1. Let's read very quickly the first seven verses. I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Listen to every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. The word take away there is, a, is an incorrect rendition. It's not take away. It's the word prune. It doesn't mean I dump. Because this gives God an idea like if you don't produce, he dumps you. No, he doesn't dump people. He prunes you. And he says, every branch that beareth fruit, he purges that it may, yes, that's the correct translation, and that it may bring forth more fruit. Verse 3. We'll read down to 7, please. Now we are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. For help us media, you have to be a bit fast, please. Abide in me. This is Jesus speaking. He's teaching us the secret of relationship that will produce a fearful dimension of result in your life. He says, abide in me and I in you. Right? We call this in theology the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery that makes two entities become one. He that abided in me and I in him, what will be the result? Read on, read on. It's there. What will be the result? He says, no, 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 please give us verse 3 again. Verse 3, please go back. Okay, verse 4. Have I missed something? Verse 5. Thank you. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same does what? You see the secret. That's what we want. Another name is results. You want results in your life. He teaches you the secret. He says, I am the vine. Don't be confused. You are one with me, but you are not the vine. You are one with me as the branch. Don't just say, I'm one with Christ. As what? As the branch. Ever dependent on the vine. He says, he that abides in me. If Joshua Selman abides in me, and I abide in him, he said, the same will bring forth much fruit. And then he tells us the secret of dramatic results. For without me, for without me, the word without means outside of me, excluding me in the equation, you can do nothing. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. Verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, it says you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Results on the strength of relationship. And so you say, Father, bless your people. Hallelujah. And then you begin to see testimonies and results on the strength of relationship. Please, listen. Listen. God must be the most important person in your life. Above miracles. Above healing. Above business. Above career pursuits. Please listen. Sometimes we get busy trying to do things. That we forget that our success in life is a derivative of our relationship. There is nothing in this life, believe me, that is worthy enough to steal away the value, the priority, the position 
of the Holy Spirit in my life. See what is made out of my life. Only a fool will truly know God and leave him alone to run and live his life his own way. He will give you what money cannot buy. He will do unbelievable, unimaginable things in your life. Intimacy. I've hammered this for years. And I'm saying it again. This is the first message. Pastor, if you want the anointing in your life, you want results in your ministry, it's not just by printing banners and marching around town and disturbing people with all kinds of things. There is a place for that. But your greatest publicity is the secret place. When you establish a track record, brothers and sisters, look, God spoke about Jesus Christ. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And he commanded creation to hear him. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It must be your passion. This is koinonia. So God is calling you. I know you want to be healed, but much more than healing. I know you want to be delivered, but much more than deliverance. I know you want breakthrough. You are tired. You want God to visit the foundation of your problem. But more than that, please hear me when I tell you this. It's a sustainable key to grace. Would you dance with me, oh, lover of my soul? To the song of all songs, His presence, the key to knowledge. Dance with me, oh, lover. Of my soul to the song of all songs. Just sing it two more times as an expression of your love to God. Dance with me, your love. and pray in one minute and say Lord in this place tonight let there be grace for me to fall in love with you above and beyond everything please lift your voice and pray inside and outside pray grace to love you grace that you become a priority in my life Are you praying, Koinonia? Inside and outside, please make sure you are praying. Oh, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. With all my heart, plant a fire in me. In this miracle service, oh God, more than ministry, more than business, more than academics, more than career pursuit, more than marriage, more than parenting, bring me to a point where nothing in life can take your place. Blessing or no blessing, prosperity or no prosperity, healing or no healing, deliverance. Or I love your presence. I love you. If ye abide in me and my word abide in you, you will produce results. Imagination. Bring us to that place, oh God.
Please sit down. There are certain people, this is all you need tonight. Just this key to fall in love with you. Hallelujah. Relationship. Many times after the service, you see people queuing up to see me. And I have some of our children here. They don't join the queue. It's called the privilege and the blessings of relationship. Hallelujah. While the rest have seen me officially, some of these children can just walk up to me and hug me. And as far as they are concerned, anybody in the queue, sorry about that, but this is relationship. Are we together now? Oh, relationship will give you more. Points you didn't pray for. You will see God answering it. That's the realm where the Bible says, as they are still thinking, while he's still in the realm of imagination. When they threw a man who was in a healthy relationship with God. You know, that's what, that was the bill that was passed by the Senate in Babylon to make sure Daniel cuts away his relationship with God. And Daniel said, no, I can do any other thing but not this. When they threw him in the den, the king could not sleep. See, the same way if you touch a man's wife, even if it's by mistake, you can insult her from a distance, that's all right. But you get physical. The husband changes. The Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. You want to see an angry man do something to his wife or somebody he loves, his sister or somebody. That's what happens. Love alone will give you a level of immunity above the immunity of an earthly ambassador. Believe me when I tell you this. The prophet knew this and that was why when they came to capture him, he said, they that are with us, for us, are greater. There is an immunity that you can have. I pray that God will bring us to that place of fellowship. There is that place where sickness cannot come near you. There is that place where no oppression of darkness. Please believe me. You will not spend your time binding and casting. You will spend your time interacting. There is an immunity that comes from that place. And your life becomes an unending wonder. A subject of discussion with no end. Because there is a mystery that surrounds it. The mystery is him. The mystery is him. When, when Shade was collecting the tithes and offering, and she said, um, she was giving an example of a woman, and she wanted to look for somebody. I was hoping she wouldn't call my name. You clean my feet, you don't get anything. Believe me, there's, there's, there's nothing on my, you only clean a dirty um, feet. But if you can clean his feet, change your life relationship hallelujah number two please pay attention the second thing the lord put in my heart to share with us is that life is a code life is a code life is a code c o D E. Thank you. Life is a code. There was so much noise. I don't know where that was coming from. Life is a code. And it takes revelation to unlock the codes and the mysteries of life. Kabbalah Kosataya. Brothers and sisters, as have hazard as life looks, there is a spiritual rhythm that is responsible for manifestation of results please hear me i call them mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom life is a code it takes knowledge and understanding to unravel it nothing just happens you don't just grow you don't just experience favor you don't just prosper you don't just fall sick you don't just stay healthy. You don't just live long. And you don't just die. Life 
is governed by laws please listen life is governed by mysteries bishop oyedeko calls them kingdom secrets the bible says let, let's look at a few scriptures while i was meditating on this i'm telling you it, it blew my mind media you help us give us job 29 verse 4 job 29 verse 4 then we'll go to chapter 1 verse 3 job 29 verse 4 and then chapter 1 verse 3 hear what job said the richest man in the east he says as i was in the days of my youth when what when the secrets of god was upon my tabernacle he was giving us the explanation this was a defense a justification for his being the greatest man in influence and he said let me tell you it's not because my name is Job. there was a mystery he said i started doing business with god right from my youth he says when the secrets of god everybody say the secrets of god the secrets of god were upon my tabernacle What did that produce in his life? Chapter 1 verse 3. Same Job. The Bible says his substance. This was a man who had access to divine secrets. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen. It says his substance was also 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. It says so that this man was what the greatest of all men in the east and he tells us the secret he said don't just envy my influence what you see life is a mirror if you try to change your physical environment it's as foolish as looking at the mirror and trying to choke your hand through it to alter it life only reflects something happening in the spirit The greatest man in the east gives us the secret and he says the secret of the lord i traded secrets divine secrets there was an exchange between the holy spirit and me daniel chapter 2 let's see what daniel says daniel chapter 2 verse 19 and then 46 daniel chapter 2 verse 19 is God blessing you already? Life is not haphazard. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Listen. This was when the king had a dream. And he was angry. Because all his wise men and lieutenants could not interpret it. And he said, look, we are going to kill everybody. And then Daniel said, no, let the king not be hasty in this. Give us time. And Daniel knew the power of his secret place. And the Bible says, then. Ay, 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 ay. Then the secret was what? Revealed. Brothers and sisters, when a particular kingdom secret is revealed, you hold the keys and you will do wonders with it. There's no, there's, there's no way, no way you can claim you are holding on to a key in the kingdom. And with time, there is no evidence now. It says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 46. 46. It says, listen, my goodness. A man holds a secret of the kingdom and begins to shock the entire Babylonian empire to a point that this happened. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar did what? He fell upon his face and worshipped who? God. Secrets make a man like a God upon the earth. A king removes his crown and says, what is this? Daniel. He says he worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer oblation and sweet orders to him. Look at verse 28 of the same verse. 28. Hear what Daniel said. 
please let's read together he was now giving us the key one to read but there is a god in heaven that does what and makes known to the king what shall be in the latter days brothers and sisters the god we serve is a god that reveals secrets he can call you and say come let me show you a secret secret do you know them do you know the mystery what you see in this ministry by the grace of god this little that god is doing is a product of mysteries don't you ever think it's a mistake it can be reproduced anywhere any day anytime because it's a secret it says there is a god in heaven everybody say there is a god in heaven that will reveal secrets for me today yeah. there is a secret when you handle the story of your family will change tonight just one secret please believe me there is a secret god can show you by prophecy tonight and tell you look look this confusion you are you are amiss this is what is wrong this is the correction there is a secret that delay has a mystery that sustains it are we together that bad luck has a mystery that sustains it don't just say people don't like me don't you know there is something that makes them not to like you the same way somebody can turn and look at benga and say benga god just let me i don't know why but take hundred thousand no nobody just acts anyhow they think they are acting out of compassion but there is an influence in the spirit <laughs> there is a god in heaven that reveals secrets psalm 25 verse 14 psalm 25 verse 14 I must burn this revelation in our hearts. I want us to really have it. Psalm 25 verse 14. It says the secret of the Lord is with who? Them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is not with believers. It's not with churchgoers. Not pastors. Not apostles. Not prophets. Those who revere him. Those who respect him. He will call you and say come let me show you something. Let me show you what makes ministry work. Let me show you something that can take your life. Let me show you something that can bring you promotion in your office. There is something. The Bible says the labor of the fool wearied every one of them. Because he does not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. He does not know. And part of the blessings of the apostolic ministry and the prophetic ministry is access to the mysteries of a dispensation. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Give us chapter, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is an apostolic ministry. This is a prophetic ministry. You must understand the spiritual implication. This is what Paul is saying. Listen. He says, for this cause... Do you know that the mysteries of the kingdom have not, um, it's not yet, it's not exhausted. The revelation, what we know in church today is not all there is. God is still opening more doors. And it takes the apostolic ministry to be able to receive and communicate these dispensational secrets. Current mysteries. 3 verse 1. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word. Verse 3. Read please. 1 to read. How that by revelation he made known unto me what? The mystery. He made known unto me. He showed me by revelation. As I wrote afore in few words. Verse 4. Whereby. Listen. When ye read. Ye may understand my knowledge. In the mystery of Christ. Next verse. Shocking. Listen. Which in other ages. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
was not made known to the sons of men stop listen there are mysteries that have been uncovered in in today's world that have not yet been people did not access it before not that it was not there but that mystery was not meant for that dispensation and the bible says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto who his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit it didn't say reveal to believers please listen this is not human worship it didn't say reveal to believers the current present truth the operation of the holy spirit administratively is communicated in the body by the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic so there are mysteries that god is helping us one of the things i pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation not just miracles but that you hold on to something the moment you enter your office you know what to do to silence wicked men the moment you step in you know what to do to move to the next dimension the bible says for jesus himself knew what to do scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom can we pray in one minute and say lord there is something i need to know to rise to the next level please show me pray There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? the mystery that will end my captivity why an endless circle of poverty there is a key hand it to me tonight oh god please hand it to me why do i just fall sick why is my church not growing why is my heart is dividing there is a mystery i humble myself tonight why is the anointing scarce in my life why have I not access influence in the spirit show me the mystery are you praying open my eyes This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right because of truth. Right properly. Just said up in the day of my youth. When the secrets of the Lord. There are secrets. Hear me, Koinonia. We do business in this kingdom with secrets. There are secrets. We remain on the strength of mysteries. Pray is part of the meeting. You're opening up your spirit. Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery really bring deliverance hallelujah listen the bible says they are life to those who find them and only those who seek find they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh Number three, 
The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight, very powerful, is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper. Listen. Listen. The Bible's calls God a Beniza. You know what that means? The helper of men. When God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Bethesda having five porches right verse three in this lay a great multitude of look at the kind of people there successful people don't have any business with that environment it's an environment that connoted weakness it says impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water please pay attention for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water and then whosoever excuse me whosoever then um first then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had can you imagine that kind of frustration one person per year just like nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern do you agree with me after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern at 38 years no child is a concern at 38 years you cannot at least move into your house is a concern at 38 years, there's nothing meaningful you are doing. It's a concern. The Bible says this man had been there 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen. God is about to speak to you. And knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows... And then the Bible says, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The important man answered, sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper he says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been, be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying, I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. 
That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, oh, I read whatever it is. And God says, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Are we together now? Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is, I can't lift it. And then a helper comes. And sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything. And it makes my life easy. The help of God can make a man's life easy. Please, let me preach to you for one minute. I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it. Disabuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble. Economy, everybody shouting dollar. I'd like you to shout it, count me out. Say it. Shout it one more time. Listen, we are not irresponsible citizens. Don't get me wrong. We sympathize with what is happening in the nation. But if you dare let Satan speak to you, he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life. People who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility. Everybody says dollar is rising. Is it not in your Bible when men say? Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life. Listen, God is looking for every opportunity to make a statement. Afford him your life. A Christian is not one who has just received Jesus into his life. A Christian, listen, is one who operates by the principles of the word of God. Our economy is different. And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper. Can you hand over your life and say, God help me. Truly I've tried by myself. If you don't help me, I will never get this admission. If you don't help me, I will never graduate. If you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's the condition to be a potential victim. 
when the lord told me this i said lord i first i receive for myself i receive for myself he is my helper when god comes in to help you he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you will be watching the growth this is how it will leave you and you are saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne His and the ocean road to the Do you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and he said, I know my salary is on his way coming. Lord, I trust you and you say, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean rolls to the Lord our Lord. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the elders and the saints Sing praise I believe God though I'm a man of faith I believe God he says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at Saul and said, where did, we can't see the process. Where did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he is already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him there is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people let me tell you this night before we pray just take away your mind from anything and everybody don't come to God with your calculation and say Lord my prayer request I wrote my uncle he must answer me leave that one let God choose if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough let him give it to you You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen. Don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. 
Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes, ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago, she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And um, she said, everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly, no hope for marriage nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and i prophesied to her and i said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department she should not be afraid and she said man of god that's exactly what happened and she looked at me and she said can you imagine what has happened in my life she just put her hand like this and i saw a ring and she said i just got married two months ago and then she said i should look outside and there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please, I want you to be angry today as we pray. And place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you. You will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him. That's why I know wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows. There are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because they, the situation is so scattered, it doesn't have beginning and end. They don't even know where the problem started from. They know that they are in the middle of a situation. But the helper, when he comes, he can make every crooked path straight. There are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround, breakthrough. Do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautifully and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray.
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please, lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Talk everlasting. The voices. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ and god is removing something from your stomach too i'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth i command it to go now right now right now 
I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Madam, check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person? Please come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Mother. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you if they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? In Zaria, what do you do? I desert. I I need to pray because I'm I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He must have they caught. This boy must have they caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say all the ten people come back again. Eh? What caught? He get problem. He must have they caught. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't don't be afraid, Mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a curse. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. 
but it's not like a tie, same material. A tie like a normal, this thing. It's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that, let's have a mother outside. The Lord is showing me. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? You are 14. You will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me because the same thing He's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. The back pain, look at me, Mama. The back pain, you, it did, it did, it did. you will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hand. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Jesus. Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at, look at you. Help her. Cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, but there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another Mama outside who needs to come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. You have a daughter. Yes. Where is she? She's outside. She's outside. Call her. Come. Daughter, where are you? Please come. Everlasting Shim. To everlasting. What's her name? Shim. Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? I told her to have the one. No. The woman... I'm talking about has her tie um, it's not the same as the material it's not the same as the material she's wearing I'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it ladies now the normal scarf that you carry and tie but I will pray for you anybody that has come out I'll pray for you I don't know why she's here she is, but I'll pray for you you are already out I'll pray for you please let's let me just minister to those that are here I'll pray for you Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother. This is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, my I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. Yes. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Yes. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Yes. Believe me.
Who is this? Your what? Yeah, but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter. She have a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? Maybe you here. Maybe you here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus? Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus? No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. By the spirit of the Christ. Jesus. For your mercy. For your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking a, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm bad being in Sokoto. Huh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm Bible in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. 
because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you um, are writing jam on Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you and you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because this, you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Sir. Regina, Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning please come my sister I, I don't mean to embarrass you you get what I'm saying is to speak over your life you do what category are you here for huh? Regina okay I'll pray for you who has sickle cell S there's a sickler here now you are the one please indicate eh, sweetheart. come Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pr please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department after koinonia you can meet the media and listen to the messages they will help you you love jesus but your mindset is still very serious and you can do anything especially men so please you will listen to that message and the lord will help you huh in the name of jesus christ my dear come i don't know what happened i don't want to ask you please don't feel embarrassed Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? He called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you, 
if you don't have the eyes of the spirit you will be fighting god not knowing are we together now i'm sorry to say don't feel bad don't feel embarrassed you see that guy it was three of you you are not the only one you have been sensing that there's another lady the other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you that's why he, he quietly called out of fear and all of that that he's, he may be a sincere person but him and women is even a spirit he needs help let me pray for you that god will bring the man he has destined you're a very nice lady father in the name of jesus christ i lay my hands upon her father send into her life the man a, a responsible and god-fearing man in the name of jesus christ and for your shame may my god give you double in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll... madam please come that woman can i talk to you please clear the way for her madam please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say father visit me madam please look at me i have to pray for you something is tying your finances down completely yes sir. that's the major reason why you came yes sir. is that true you were asking the lord to visit your finances yes, because everybody will see you now and think things are just working but the truth is nothing is really working yes, sir. you need a serious miracle in that area that's true sir. is that true yes sir. are you married yes but now i'm out of hold on place. don't worry you just answer you don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit huh this spirit brings bad luck on your life people come to you and then in a few weeks or months they will now fight you this is still what happened in your marriage it's true, sir. because the man has gone yes sir eh? yes, is that true are you in your yes, husband's house now no sir you are not in your husband's house the yes, lord is bringing a miracle for you amen what do you do i'm a hairdresser your hairdresser do you believe in tithing yes sir you tithe no don't feel embarrassed this is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, no, no. Don't feel bad. Madam, please. Look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married another one? You want to go I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. You see, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome. Yes, sir. We soon need 
Doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know, I don't know what causes it, but I know how it does. Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all well, I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right in the name of jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power flows through this baby. Jesus name I hope the usher help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life yes, okay. I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk I'll talk about it okay the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now inside and outside i'm going to pray for you right now wherever you are as i begin to pray it's like fire it will come upon you confusion stagnation at least 13 people i see in the spirit please lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands i'll do the praying let's just flow the way the holy spirit is praying lord jesus i'm praying right now by the ministry of angels 13 people by the influence of the spirit i stand under this apostolic anointing and i pray right now wherever you are inside and outside right now as i pray that fire starts coming upon them right now right now bring them out 13 people 13 people by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside, that take people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them, bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me, there are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen. My goodness. You are going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen. At the count of three, I tell you, wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the Spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Families, 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 the sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now those outside listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen. I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands. Right now, right now, right now. I command that right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus fire 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 every spirit every devil from my left
my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil, right now, I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them, release them. Let Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release my spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those spirits. I command them to leave. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command right now, right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One, two, three. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Let that go right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Lord is giving you a new song. A new song. The Lord is wiping your tears. You on green, lift your hands. Take it now. Receive right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You mama, in five years. He's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, I have to pray. There's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it! That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out! out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit a name eboni eboni state someone here from eboni state god is bringing a miracle at my back that person is at my back eboni state god is bringing a miracle wherever that person is in the name of the lord jesus christ who is margaret margaret I'm hearing a name, Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. Please. I have to talk. Five ladies. None of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies where yes, are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you two five you two you are together oh you are a sister you are his friend. So why are you here with him? To back him up. For oh, five minutes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. There is a spirit that brings delay in your family. And I take authority over that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. There's somebody around here. You are into book selling, bookstore business. God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business. Here, I'm sensing it. I don't know if there's anybody here. You are into selling of books. The Lord is saying, prophesy increase to that person. Oh, Jordan is you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady. Call that lady. You. Don't think distance is a barrier. Believe me. God can fish you out from anywhere. Look at me. I know you are standing by the fence, but God is wiping your tears. He's giving you a new song. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has answered your prayer. You are praying that I minister to you, you and your friend. Where is your friend? Where is he? Lift up your hands, two of you. You will step into an anointing. Huh? Hold your hands together. In the name of Jesus. Look, I stretch my hands right now. Let it fire. Come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here i want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are god can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace i hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace i need to pray for grace 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 and i'm hearing garba garba i'm hearing a name garba god is ministering to somebody i don't know if it's a son name or a name garba in the name of jesus garba where are you your name is Garba. Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying, I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And it's, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. 
Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jump next. Jump. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are writing jump. Three people. writing jam. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. What, please remind me in case I forget. This jam thing, we have to settle it once and for all. Please. People who are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me, please lift your hands. Not these ones, those ones, exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right, God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are Father, there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now benway state there's someone here from benway benway um benway state you have an elder brother Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing, please. You have another brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there's wisdom. I take authority over that spirit. Of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll... I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. Listen. God is speaking to you. You came for Koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for Koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is a lady that the Lord is showing me. For four months. You have not seen your period. Four months. You have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's family um, like relative in prison. There's somebody here like that in prison. One of your relatives. I don't know if he's in police station or prison, something like that. God is From doing a miracle. Who is that? There's somebody like that. You're the one come. Who is in prison? Your nephew. Are you sure? Oh Which prison? God. He's in Gobe State. You know How long is his tenure? Uh, five years. You know five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You, this. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You lift your hands, beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying, is bringing beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing I will praise you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. You are in the crowd. I will pray for you. But the Joseph is inside the crowd here. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are in prayer. You are in prayer. God is wiping you. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What do you want to study? Engineering. Agri. You are going to be a businessman, and God is going to honor you. Too. In the name of Jesus, Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. Not you or your sister. Is how many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me.
confusion is ending in your life come come the lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of jesus christ please everyone lift your voice and pray and say father you are changing my story there is a habit god is setting you free from it's a terrible habit right now be free it's not a habit you should practice at all god is setting you free from it somebody here has eye problem no 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 not eye. i'm going to for you there's somebody here with eye problem your eye pains you if you see light who is that person You get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better days. Those things, please follow me. The Lord is bringing you to a new dimension. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something is being activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You out right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. 
I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence, the source of my strength, are you. the strength of my life, are you. my hope and my joy, are you. Hey, my confidence. Are you. I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy are you. Hey, My confidence are you. The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy My confidence are you. Hey, I am Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. 
Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hand? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast. We'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service. Right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, miracles upon miracles, miracles, visit everyone, visit issues of concern in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names, that every request represented here no matter how impossible it is by the power that raised christ from the dead let every dead situation here come back to life in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power of the holy spirit my god we sang that you are not a man turn every captivity here Turn every captivity here in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because I know the things that... I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please. I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you. Just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God, what is the next step? I pray by this anointing. 
receive direction right now receive direction right now in the name of jesus someone's marital destiny is under siege right now in the name that is above all names an anointing a yoke breaker anointing i prophesy receive it right now i open those doors right now inside outside i open those doors right now hallelujah there's someone praying you are asking god for money for rent rent the lord is telling me that between now and monday morning there is a miracle coming for you there is a miracle coming for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are ladies who have even guys this spell of disfavor please listen in the name of jesus you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face i see many people being affected by this lord where are they that mark of disfavor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tear of that mark that mark of disfavor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus hallelujah listen you have come to the end of your road and if god does not step in there will not be any way out i pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level i stand under this anointing in this miracle service and i prophesy i command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it i command that door to open shakatata i command that door to open swing open in the name of jesus whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand and is yet to enter your hand please stretch your hands towards me shalakataya in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands back receive it right now receive it receive it receive it right now everything that must enter your hand inside and outside i command it from the realm of the spirit i deliver it to your hands in the name of jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah i pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because i've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it 
the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment Listen, when Pharaoh refused to allow Egypt, Israel go, God took his firstborn. Whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go, we take it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Let me tell you the truth. There are men that hold the destinies of people low. I teach you principles of success. But I'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill. Whoever kept your destiny at a standstill, in the name that is above all names, I put an anointing upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Go forward. I prophesy in your career. Go forward. In every area of your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak over our finances. You see what is happening around the nation. Father, we believe in the power to prosper. And we believe in favor. Ah, there is such a thing, my brother and my sister, called favor. Lift your hands. My God and my King. That anointing for favor that was on Joseph. That anointing that made five loaves and two fish. To feed 5,000 people. Wherever you are. May that anointing come on your life right now. It's coming on people. May that anointing come upon you. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. Some of us are moving. But our pace is too slow. That's the truth. We need acceleration. We are moving, but your pace is too slow. There are things you should do in two weeks, not three years. There are things you should do in one day. I'm praying for you. The Bible says, and the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you, that between now and next month miracle service, what has not happened from when koinonia started may the god that i serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of Jesus the Bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me Daniel was found ten times better that ten times better unction as you write your jam may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of Jesus There are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do. You will know what to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
I'm led to pray for those in final year. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. We need to release you. There are things that have come up. Some of us, physically speaking, is obvious there is trouble. Where is that God who can correct a man's mistake? I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, you will graduate this year. I said you will graduate this year. I don't know how it will happen, but you must graduate this year. Hallelujah. The secret, receive this, two more and we are done. The secret, the ideas, the strategy you need for the next level of your life. I'm praying for you. Please lift your hands. There will be a strong impartation. God is releasing anointings for creativity. Some of it will come upon you, you will not know why. But when you sleep, you will see it in dreams. My God, I'm praying. I see this thing falling on at least 40 people. In the name that is above all names. That anointing for creativity. Receive it right now. Right now, right now, right now. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. Creativity. Ideas. I send them from the spirit. Concept. Right now, right now. Business ideas. Career ideas. Hallelujah. now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one two three yes lord receive it receive it receive it malakata baba breakthrough breakthrough i smash those barriers breakthrough in the name of jesus breakthrough i mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you they will be compelled to bless you. Listen to what I'm saying. I mark you with an unction. I mark you with a mystery. And I command that anywhere they see you, may they bless you. Anywhere you enter, May this anointing force men to bless you. Anywhere you travel to, may this anointing distinguish you. Isaac blessed his son and said, The smell of my son is like the field. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow. I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 
Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata pako tosko to pre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.